Hey guys, it's Serena with Key360 Media and Arizona Key Travel Magazine, and we are coming to you live from the car. <laughs> I'm not actually driving, don't worry. We just pulled over to get a good signal. I am actually out in Scottsdale today because I am attending the Governor's Conference on Tourism, and it's a great way to kind of learn about what's happening in our state. And did you know we have some cool attractions that are coming to Arizona within the next year? For example, Medieval Times is coming, as well as Great Wolf Lodge. So that's really exciting. That's going to be out on the east side, um, part of the Salt River Pima Indian community. So we're excited about that. And I'm just learning all kinds of things at this conference, and I wanted to share a few things with you like that. But um, let's see. I'm going to try and monitor my comments here on my phone while we go. So um, just let me know if you're here with me. Um, and I'm going to tell you about a couple of things that are happening. Oh, sorry. Getting feedback there. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so I want to tell you about some events that are going on so you can plan your weekend. We have um, Arizona Opera and Gelato Film Festival is happening, and that's on Sunday, July 22nd, so if you want to check that out, that should be kind of fun. They put um, into an hour, they, they call it Opera in an Hour, and they are doing Rossini's Cinderella, and this is the second annual Arizona Opera and Gelato Film Festival, so that sounds like a lot of fun. You get to have gelato and wine and experience the opera. Because they're doing Cinderella, they're kind of um, gearing it specifically for the kids, so they're going to have some pre-show activities at one and then the screening begins at 2 p.m. Um, and that's at the Arizona Opera Center Roma and Raymond Whitcoff Black Box Theater. So that might be kind of a fun way to expose your kids to some opera. Um, what else? Okay, all summer. Oh, hey, I want to say hey to Tiffany and hey to Daniel. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, oh, and I want to tell you, we are going to do an on the spot giveaway today at the end of the show in just a few minutes. We're going to make it quick today just because I got to get back to the conference. But um, let's see. I wanted to tell you that all summer, kids eat free Mondays and Tuesdays at Harold's Corral in Cave Creek. And if you haven't had a chance to check that place out, it is a really cool um, Western themed place and tons of things going on there. Live music always on the weekends. Um, Monday is also all-you-can-eat spaghetti night, so you can take the kids to that. Let's see. Hey to Brian. Thank you for joining us. Christine, hey. Uh, let's see. Dottie. And let's see. Casa Grande is watching. All right. Let's see who else is here. Mark. Hey, Mark. Raquel, Larissa, Lorena, thank you for joining me. All right, let me tell you about another thing that's happening this month, because I want you to get in on it this month. If you are an educator, you can get free admission to the Musical Instrument Museum, and that place is awesome. They have tons of things on display. This is a global instrument museum, and it's the only one of its kind. So if you are an educator, uh, pre-K through 12th grade, administrator, uh, homeschool mom, you you are eligible to get in free this month. So take advantage of that. Let's see. I want to tell you about our July giveaway as well. But first, let me see who else I've got here with me. All right. I've got Dana. Hey, Dana. And Christy. And another Brian. Oh, Brian loves Medieval Times. Yeah, I can't wait for that to come in. We're going to definitely check that out when that's in. It's supposed to be in, like, in 2019. Kind of summer, early fall. So we're looking forward to that. Edward and Judah, thank you for joining us. Jason, Lee, thanks for coming by. Okay, let me tell you about our giveaway this month, okay? We are giving away um, a morning hot air balloon flight for two with Hot Air Expedition. So that is really exciting. You can get in on that giveaway. We're going to post the link below um, at the end of this broadcast. We'll put that up so you can get in on that. Um, oh, and let me tell you what I'm going to do for the on the spot giveaway in just a few minutes. You get ready to comment, okay? I am going to give away two tickets to a Phoenix Mercury game. And the one that I have to give away is let's see it is Friday August 10th at 7 p.m. so if you are available and you want those tickets just comment right now that you want those tickets we're going to choose a winner here in a second but let me just tell you that the Phoenix Mercury is doing really well they are number two in the league uh, let's see they are just two games back behind Seattle Storm and they're really coming on strong they have a record of 15 wins 
and eight losses. And these tickets are two lower level tickets. So good seats. Um, that's a Friday, August 10th at 7 p.m. And they are playing against Indiana Fever. So that should be a good one. I think they're going to win that one. So let's go ahead and choose it. Anybody? Anybody? We'll see if we get anybody commenting on that. Um, and then the other thing I just wanted to point out to you again, in case you didn't know, this is our travel magazine. This is our July issue. We have tons of stuff in here. We always have events that are going on throughout the entire state. So check it out. We have a digital edition online at our website, www.arizonakey.com. So you can always check that out or message our page. We'll try and keep you up to date on what's going on. And I always try to put a lot of good articles in here as well and this month we have an article um, about out of Africa wildlife park because they just celebrated their 30th anniversary we also have an article about Arizona's lunar history because did you know that astronauts came to Arizona 50 like 50 years ago when they were um, preparing for the first moon landing and they came here because our landscape and our geology is such that it allowed them to do some practicing here so that's kind of cool and they're celebrating that this coming year and we have an article on that um, in our magazine and one other article I'll point out to you is um, a cool ways to beat the heat so we have a big list of things in here that you can do to stay cool while uh, while the temperatures rise there's still plenty of stuff to do including a lot of indoor fun that you can have or um, traveling throughout the state get to those cooler temps so check that out this is our this is what it looked like. Cool ways to have fun. Okay, so let's see. Do we have anybody who's up for those tickets? Brian All right, Brian Spearbeck, you're the winner. So we will get in touch with you and get those tickets out to you. Go ahead and private message the page so we can get those out to you. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I will be back to you next week. Thursday at 11. We'll have more fun stuff to give away. And remember, I'll put that um, link so you can enter our July monthly giveaway for those hot air tickets, hot air expeditions, balloon rides. Should be a lot of fun. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you next week, Thursday at 11. Take care. I'm